we've got a lightning speed through our spotlight, starting with Space Warp. Okay, um, challenge accepted. So um, for FEM, talking about Space Warp and how you can get ready for it, if you haven't heard, Space Warp is the launch program that we're running with Ecosystem. Um, TLDR, we had a huge hackathon that just ended. The finale is this Friday. If you want to tune in and see what teams have made it to the finals and what people are building, you can do so at the link here. Um, great porting function. We've had a lot of great content. We both demos and solutions come out from the hackathon itself. You can click on all those things to check it out. Um, I will call out the huge um, piece and thank you for all the teams at Andres here who have like, participated, Bakial, Medusa, um, Estuary as well, working together with us to get um, demos out and integrations out and being allowing hackers to test those. Um, also realizing that deal making context is a huge um, piece of the developer experience for them to understand So we're going to work a lot more on that documentation moving forward. Um, the other piece here is that if you want to collaborate with FEVM, um, we have the early builder demo days, uh, demo showcases that are running all the way to launch. Um, if you want to participate, you can DM me to join the FEVM Foundry F1 channel to get um, what the agenda is. And so when you participate in there, you can also project, you can share your project or you can have um, your the demos that you're working on shared with other hackers there to test it out. Um, so a lot of building, uh, building going on right now. Um, if you want to participate in that and get your project tested, go to the link over here. Um, this will be an internal resource page for um, folks over here. As much as possible, we hope that you ask questions in Phil Builders openly. And then if you have any internal questions that you're not sure about, um, you can ask in the FPM EMA internal channel, which is private, and you can also ping me to join it. Um, but yeah, 30 seconds. Woohoo! Tune in tomorrow. On to Birdie. Hey, this is Brady from Sentinel team. Uh, we want to share a service we created to generate a daily archive of great snapshot for the Filecoin minute. Uh, chain of Sync's Genesis. So we currently have 900 snapshots, totally of uh, 30 terabyte of data. So what are kind of great snapshots? Uh, they include stable messages received for the 2880 epochs that they cover. Uh, why are they important? First, uh, they allow initialization of Lotus or Filecoin clients on any specific day. Second, our team use those snapshots to extract and index the full chain data. We are currently at 90% uh, completeness of uh, uh, the data processing, and we made it queryable in, in BigQuery. Uh, we are starting to onboard people uh, both internally and externally. Uh, for some high price tables, we do have full data. For example, we provide via messages and uh, gas output to Cryptio uh, for land to help um, uh, auditing work uh, for our storage providers. Um, third, um, those snapshots serve as a full chain history backup beside existing full archive of nodes. Uh, it's possible to reconstruct the full node from those snapshots. And that is uh, the possibility of storing the full Filecoin chain on Filecoin and IPFS is greatly simplified. We already have uh, our POM partners showing um, interest in working on this. We can share more in the future. Thank you. Woohoo! Great progress. Station. Hello. Station is the, your gateway to the Filecoin economy, is now shipping with an inbuilt wallet. Uh, before you had to put in a, a fill address from an external wallet, but now the onboarding is super slick and it just sets one up for you automatically. Uh, the way you can use it, you just go in and you, you get your station address. And as you earn fill for uh, completing jobs uh, and earning from the Filecoin economy, uh, it starts to tally up and your total goes up. And we want to treat it as sort of a hot wallet. So every so often you'll transfer that fill out to a more secure or permanent wallet. And you can see on this wallet page, you've got a list of previous transactions coming in and we're leaning on the Glyph APIs here. Uh, if you want to find out more, head to fillstation.app to download. And uh, shouts out to Julian Gruber, who's, who's led on this initiative and Miro as well. NB, uh, there are no modules yet which are actually going to be paying out fill, but there are a lot of module builders who are really interested in building these modules and having a peer-to-peer -peer network set up from people's home devices. Uh, we've, we've just kicked off a, kicked off a working group uh, with a Slack channel. So if you would like to get involved, please get in touch with us uh, and join the, the working group to create all these modules, which are going to start participating to, in various different ways to the Filecoin economy. Awesome. Thanks. Deal client contracts, Shanut. Hello. So with FPM coming online, we decided to build some generic client contracts, which would serve as a template for a lot of the use cases we want to see built on Filecoin. Examples of such are data DAOs, perpetual storage, storage automation. We also developed tooling on the SP to claim bounties and enhance the deal-making protocol to initiate deals with contracts, which will make deal-making more programmatic. I want to thank you, thank you to the Anton, to Anton and the Boost team 
who are working to basically build a solution in a more productionized manner and bring it to SPs. Uh, some of the positive things to come out of this work, it highlighted a lot of the gaps we had in the protocol and drove some protocol refinements. Uh, and also in tooling, which we have available today, both on the dev and the SP side. We've also seen several devs use these contracts as templates to build their own functionality uh, as part of Hack FEVM and Space Warp Hackathon. So that's been very encouraging to see. Uh, if anyone is interested in learning more about this, we have created multiple tutorials with several links to documentation and hope to create more. Uh, you can find us at the uh, where to find us box. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to Zen Ground Zero for initiating this project. Uh, Irene and Luca from the CryptoNet team who've been engaging in protocol research for this and Jennifer for holding the project together. Uh, as for what's next, we want to use these building blocks to store Filecoin on Filecoin, which hopefully serves as a strong demonstration for what can be built on our network.